and then I flanked this guy, didn't get him. But there's another guy right here that I flanked, and almost, and there is a nuclear. There is the nuclear. Got the nuclear. Absolutely insane, man. 63 and 0 right now. <laughs> it's super crazy, man. Yo, what is going on, everybody? I am KP, and today... I have an absolutely insane gameplay with the Spitfire on Icebreaker today, man. This particular class setup is the Spitfire with extended mags, fast mags, and stock with the Stimshot, Scavenger, Flak Jacket, and Gung Ho. Usually, what I did before, I had Scavenger, Gung Ho, and Lightweight, but I changed it over to Flak Jacket because Flak Jacket is absolutely essential nowadays, man. Let's read what it does first. Take less damage from enemy explosives, fire, and radiation, right? The most annoying things in the game. Radiation is fire breaks, uh, nuclear thing, whatever he has. Absolutely super annoying, but you can get away if you have a flak jacket. Fire, fire shotguns, use <laughs> anything to do with fire, molotovs, anything, man. You just get away. And explosives, the battery, trip mines. Everything that's pretty much annoying flak jacket covers and I think it's absolutely essential man It's so good and I don't know really what this means recover more quickly when wounded That might mean when you're on fire and you can't heal or I, I really don't know Maybe it's with the stim shot. I have no idea, but absolutely essential. I do love this class try it out Let me know what you think about it And let's get right into the gameplay Alright, so I got another nuke on my warm-up game and I have to show it man this is a crazy nuke this is with a Spitfire on icebreaker which is not a map for submachine guns at all this is a tactical rifle and assault rifle dominated map so I mean I don't know how I just got this nuke with the Spitfire but it is absolutely insane and I do want to show you guys I go I'm not even gonna spoil it but rest assured I am working on my challenge me video it's just taking a bit to get the gameplay, but it's definitely it's definitely going to be worth it. Trust me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little little precursor gameplay, this new gameplay. All right, let's start it up. And I apologize for being live commentary again, man. I'm gonna start recording my warm up games because sheesh, I, I go FK for a while here, huh? I wonder why. All right, now I'm moving. All right, I go FK for a super long time. But let's see exactly what goes on here. I literally just got this gameplay, so I mean, save my boy from the shocker. Kill that guy. Very nice. I absolutely go off here, man. I was playing kind of for the nuke the whole time, honestly. Because I normally don't do that, but I'm going to just start doing that. Get a nice little four-piece right there. I think that was. Destroyed all of them. Triple kill. Nice, nice, nice. I was playing the objective again. That guy almost got sauced, and I almost died from this guy, but he he didn't know I had this bit fire, so he just came strolling down without a freaking doubt in his mind that he was gonna kill me, but little did he know. <laughs> Your boy had a spit fire. And yeah, I'm using Nomad. I usually never use Nomad on any gameplays, but I mean, with my warm-ups, I like to vary it around by just, you know, using stuff I don't normally use because it's fun. Because if you just use the same gun, the same uh, specialist over and over again, it just it's just not fun. So yeah, just vary it around a little bit. Got my sniper's nest right here. Call that bad boy in right away. And I see somebody on my map, I think. I think, yeah, I saw him on my map, so I turned around and sauced him. And as you can see, I'm not rushing. I'm kind of just playing it back, letting them come to me. Because I feel like that is how you can get the most nukes. If you just kind of stay back, let them come to you. Don't rush around corners and just kind of play it safe. Even though that's not the funnest thing for me to do, I think that is going to be the way to get nukes i always i love rushing i love playing the objective i love saucing a team full of master prestiges like that's that's what i find fun but it is really impressive to get nuclears and i think i'm just gonna keep going for more nuclears and yeah i just keep going off here calling my dog he goes in i don't think he gets that many kills i'm pretty sure he gets one or two on this one and then like three or four on the next one but I almost died right there again. But Spitfire is just too overpowered, man. They nerfed the Spitfire, but honestly, 
it's not too bad man it's the same it just has five less bullets and the reload time on this on the fast mags is a little slower which is literally minuscule man it is so fast either way and i i don't know how i survived that right there <laughs> spitfire is not good long range at all like, at all and then i try to just you know use my trip mines to my advantage i don't think they really get that many kills either like <laughs> pretty much my score streaks usually get all the kills i'm on the roof list right now so that's the 15 and i'm like okay okay i can definitely get this nuke now and i probably start playing it a little more safe if i do remember correctly very very good got my strike team right there i call i mm, do i call it in i think i do call it in Sometimes I don't call uh, my strike teams in or my or my kill streaks when I'm going for nukes because they might just take all the kills and the game ends that much faster. But yeah, I kind of just run around the map, kind of playing it safe, seeing where my teammates are, seeing where there's empty spots on the map because the empty spots on the map is where the other team are most likely going to be. Get that guy from long range by just you know tapping. <laughs> takes a long time but hey he was oblivious because he was trying to shoot down my sniper's nest and then i kind of get in their spawn right here my teammates are already here though so i get no one <laughs> see this is this is the problem with kill streaks man you just keep running running and running got my uav here I think uh, to go for nukes, maybe just have just the UAV and no sniper's nest or strike team. I think that might be the best thing for me because the sniper's nest and the strike team just really just complicate things even further because as you can see, this gameplay takes so much longer than it should have, but I do think it's beneficial in some ways to have the uh, lethal score streaks because they do... Uh, they do distract the enemy team. And I just got my 20 kill streak, so I'm on a 20 kill streak right now. Don't want to push going for the nuclear, but I do push anyway. I don't know why. Oh, because my strike team, yeah, yeah. And my whole teammates are over here. That's why I feel comfortable pushing. But if there was nobody there, no strike team, no nothing, I normally wouldn't have pushed that and just kind of stayed back and let them come to me. Kind of like what I do here. As you can see, the other side of the map is literally open. There's no one, no strike team, and that's literally where they all are. So I kind of just play it back, get a nice little two kills, just picking them off. Call on my sniper's nest because I have 3 minutes and 30 seconds left. And also, it's only 28 to 1. <laughs> they literally only got one shamrock. Absolutely insane. My team was going off as well, as well as me. And we just... We just literally sauced these guys, man. Absolutely. And they stayed, too. Like, <laughs> and, yeah, see, that's that's one thing about score streaks. Like, that guy was looking in the sky. I just got my 25. But that guy was looking in the sky. And he wasn't even worried about anyone. He was just worried about killing the snipers. And so he was an easy kill. Easy free kill. And if... Yeah, I was trying to find a, a place for my trip mine here where it connected. But it didn't connect. So I just kind of put it there. My other trip mine got a kill though, as you can see in the top left corner. But I do call on my strike team finally because I'm, I'm kind of feeling like I'm not safe. I don't know. Strike team makes me feel kind of safe. I'm going uh 52 and 0 right now. Look at look at that. That is insane. 52 and 0. That is crazy, man. Absolutely insane. 52 kill streak right now. Well, not not a gun streak, but you know, you know, sniper's nest and strike team going off, and I'm just looking for more kills here. Find a guy right there, get him. See, it is kind of boring though, because I think yeah, this is a five v five. Usually six v six is play a little faster, and I kind of rush into the spawn here and look at this. Oh no. That dog could have killed me if he didn't double back right there. I just hop into the freaking into the water because I know they can't go into the water. Activating barricade. But yeah, and then I hop on top of here because if you get into an elevated place, the dog can't get to you because he can't jump. But yeah, and you just kill him and then that's nothing to worry about. Put my trip mine right there. Don't know if that's going to get anyone, but hopefully it does. 
and yeah i'm just kind of playing it safe 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 boring 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 but hey nuclear is a nuclear i'm literally going 58 and oh i didn't want to mess up this kill streak because it was absolutely insane get that guy real quick he was low already but hey kill this guy he almost kills me that guy was using an auger i'm pretty sure which is super super powerful and can kill you so fast so it's pretty hard to get them but the spitfire kind of went off right there and then i flanked this guy didn't get him there's another guy right here that i flank and almost and there is a nuclear there is the nuclear got the nuclear absolutely insane man 63 and oh right now <laughs> it's super crazy man got the nuclear and i keep going man i don't stop keep going absolutely terrorizing the enemy team get that guy and that guy Ooh, my aim was pretty pretty off because this is my warm-up game man. this is only two games on i played one game before this and then yep get my dark matter for my spitfire kind of play my trip mine and i'm just going off seeing where the enemy team is and i'm pushing into their spawn right here which is not smart if you want to keep the kill streak and my aim was so off right there and he killed me with an auger bro he killed me off my streak man 68 and 0 i was 68 and 0 and then i'm 68 and 1 right now shame 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 it makes me so bad man but hey it is what it is and i did change the kn because in the beginning of the match i, ch I wanted to use the kn because the spitfire is not meant for this but there it is man absolutely insane let's see 69 and one i got a 69 kd with the spitfire on icebreaker absolutely insane gameplay hope you guys enjoyed leave a like let's go and that is going to be the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed keep a lookout onto my next challenge me video and i will see you in the next one.